Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and in this video we'll see what is the dependency injection. So in our previous video we have discussed about the IOC principle or the uh, DI principle which is a dependency inversion principle. So continuing on that now we'll discuss what is the dependency injection pattern. So basically uh, this DI or the dependency injection is a pattern which is help in using the in achieving the loose coupling of the components right. So there we discuss that we have an employee operation class and in the employee operation class which is dependent on the employee data right. So first using the IOC principle we improve the code that a rather creating object here now basically will create an object in the factory class and basically will get an object from there. So we invert the control that we should create an object in the another class not here right. Then we discuss that how DIB principle can be helpful in improving the code. So here what DIB principle says that high level modules should not depend on low level modules. So for that then we improved our code and then rather than returning the employee data type then we return the I employee data which is the abstraction. So here uh, earlier when it was getting the employee data now it is getting the I employee data. So what's the benefit? The benefit is like currently it is returning the new employee data. Let's say if some uh, another class comes let's say uh, another employee data. So then we can easily change. We need not to basically update a multiple code, right? We can just update here and that's all. So that's how we discuss in the IOC principle and the DIP principle. So in case you want to know more about that, please see the previous video. Now let's talk about like how we can further improve the code via the dependency injection pattern, right? So if you see like what is the issue in the current code? The issue is that still we are getting the object here using the data factory, right? Still we are creating an object here. So that's where the DI pattern comes. It says, it says that it allows the creation of dependent object outside of a class and provide these objects to as a class through different ways. Right? So what it says that here well, while we are creating an object here because employee operation is dependent on the employee data object and here we are creating an object using the employee data factory. So what it says that rather creating object here why not we inject the object from outside of the class. Right? So outside of the class uh, let's understand this. So it says that DI injection or the dependency injection pattern depend on the or it involves a three type of classes. The one class is which is dependent on the service class and uh, another is service which provides a service to the client. So let's understand first client and the service. So if you see here employee operation class is dependent on the employee data because we need the employee data to get the operations on the employee. Right. So here employee operation is our client, client which is dependent on the service class. So here employee operation is dependent on the service class which is the employee data. Right. Services which provide service to the client. So here employee data is providing service to the client. So it means employee operation is a client, employee data is a service and third type of class that we have the injector class which injects the service class object into client class. So what is happening currently? Currently client has the, like the client is creating the object of service right here you can see the client is creating the object of service class but this is not we want. As per the DI, as per the DI pattern it says that we should have a, another class which is injecting the object into client class right. So this injector could be any class. Let's see if we talk about the basic example it can even have the main class. Uh, which will basically inject the object of the employee data to the client. Right. So that's what the DI pattern says that basically ra uh, rather creating an object in the client class we should create we should inject the service class object into client class from the injector classes. Right. Now it says that there could be three type of injection. The first injection could be the constructor injection then we can have the property injection and we can have the method injection. So let's see one by one what it is all about. The first injection is constructor injection. Constructor injection it says that will basically inject the object of the employee data from outside via the constructor parameter. So here you see like this is our main class this is the injector class. So here uh, as soon as we initialize the 
or or we create the object when we initialize the employee operation so we know that it needs the employee data so here we will basically create an object or we will pass the object of employee data so here we will create a new employee data and then we pass from here so what is the benefit that in the constructor when it will see the uh, parameter the employee data which is basically the employee data object and then it will initialize the employee data object right so via the constructor in the employee operation constructor we are initializing or we are injecting the object we are injecting the object from outside of the class from the injector class so earlier when we were creating the object here itself now we have moved it to outside right so again we have made the code again more loose coupled now the code is more loose coupled right so that is what is known as the constructor injection in as part of the di the second part is property injection property injection means when you are injecting the object using the property so let's say we have the employee operation class and here we have the property which is the i employee data type so what will happen we'll initialize the object and then we'll set the values employee operations dot employee data new employee data so because it's a public property so here we'll create we are basically initializing the object via a property right here we are uh, here we are initializing the values via the property and that is how now we can we have got the object and now we can do the operations so that is the second type of injection which is property injection the third type of injection which is method injection where we are injecting the object uh, or the dependencies as from the method itself so let's say if we have the method here uh, which is a set dependency method so and here we are basically getting the object of employee data now when from the outside when we initialize the employee operation so using the employee operation dot set dependency now here we are passing the object of new employee data right so uh, via this parameter it will set the values of employee data and then we can do operations right so that's what it is method injection that we are injecting the dependency what is dependency dependency is new employee data or the i employee data so we are depending we are injecting the pro i employee data using the method injection so if you see what has happened here that earlier when we were creating the object via the employee fit factory now we are injecting the math object from outside of the class right so we saw three types of injection one is constructor injection when we are passing the object via the constructor then we saw the property injection when we are initializing or setting the inject via the property third is method injection when we are setting the injection when we are setting the property uh, the method injection via the uh, method right so that's what it is all about the di pattern or the dependency injection pattern now in the next video we will see that what is the ioc container so ioc container is basically achieve ioc con container automatically achieve the dependency injection pattern functionalities right so that's something we'll see in the next video and uh, in case you have any issue in the di pattern then please ask in the comment section and in case you have liked the video please like it and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you